All right, so it's gonna apparently it's back to back double upload days. So let's talk about the next video that we're gonna, that we're making today. Um, gambling. It does. Is it gonna apply to Diablo Immortal? Um, does anyone even care that it's gonna apply to Diablo Immortal? All right, so for those of you who are wondering, what am I talking about? What do I mean? Um, this is literally gonna be brought up because Twitch's standards have just changed to where um, they are against doing um, gambling, right? That includes certain aspects of the game. So let's go ahead and bring up their, their announcement here. Um, it's funny that Twitch of all platforms decided to, um, after a mass complaint and within two days, decided to make this stance and take this stance. Um, it's interesting that they're doing this. But um, what's more interesting is that the fact that it doesn't take place until uh, October 18th, that that's probably because they have a lot of sponsored ads out there that they're getting a revenue kickback from. So they don't want to say, hey, uh, we don't want to we don't want to isolate you guys with the gambling because we're going to make money from this until the 18th. That's probably what's happened with this. But anyways, um, some of you watching may go, what does this have to do with Diablo Immortal? Um, I think we need to talk about this because a lot of people came out and said when Diablo Immortal was released, I mean, um, they've literally, they, they said that this was gambling, right? Like this was literally playing the slots, like literally coming over here and doing, doing riffs and putting in, um, putting in your legendary crest, right? Like if I were to put in this legendary crest up here, that was doing slot runs. Like that was literally the meme of Diablo Immortal, right? So what does that have to do with why would I talk about this when it comes to Twitch? Because you're watching this video on YouTube. Um, the reason why we're bringing it up is because it's becoming more prevalent in today's day and age to where people are getting hooked, they're getting addicted to certain aspects of games because whether they lack self-control or whatever the case may be right because i could not stand here or stay like stand here and be like oh it's because someone's weak or, or weak-minded or whatever like everyone has their their vices everyone has their convictions um and you can't fault someone for doing that but should you allow a game or play a game and broadcast it to everyone that portrays these types of fundamental ideas i guess we'll call it like yeah i've done plenty of videos where it's like hey uh, i spent a thousand dollars here's my crest rounds for this thousand dollars right like i've done this like i i literally if you go on my channel like you like later videos I've, I've got three or four of them right um so i'm not gonna sit here and tell you oh this is bad but i do find it interesting that twitch of all places is literally decided that um streaming gambling sites including slots roulette or dice games that are affected i wish i could highlight this it's really stupid i can't unfortunately this is on twitter so i can't but they're literally saying that roulette slots dice games are licensed either in the u.s or other jurisdictions that provide sufficient consumer protection these sites will include and they start list, listing like basically what they're saying is your normal casino games have been banned um other than poker which i find odd like, why isn't poker on this list? But anyways, uh, I digress. So why we're talking about this is the fact that like slots have been banned. Um, we refer to crest runs as slots because you're putting in, we'll call it currency, which is legendary crest, into an elder rift. At that point, you're gonna randomize it and you're gonna get RNG to get your reward. Now, this is different. And I will not be the guy up here that says, oh, this is the same. This needs to be, Jebel Immortal needs to be canceled on Twitch. I'm not going to say that because it doesn't. Um, it does not fall under the same purview. However, how long do we think this goes about until gacha games, until um, games like Immortal, like these fall under this purview and then something negatively actually starts happening? Like, is it have we come to a point in 2022 to where we need to think about, well, I don't know if this is something that's gonna fly later on, right? Like, are we to that point in the world? Like, I don't know, you tell me, viewers tell me, like, where do you think we stand? Um, because we're not that far away from, I think, gotcha games, I think Elder Rifts that we're doing in Diablo Mortal. I think at some point in time, if they really wanted to reach and say that, hey, yeah, this is gambling, a form of gambling, they could. 
Now, is this different? Absolutely, because we're not getting back a currency to sell, right? Like, so in this case, when I buy my crest and I do a run, if I get a five-star gem, that's awesome. However, I can't sell that five-star gem. Like, there's not an auction house. This isn't D3 when it launched where I can just go and sell this on a market. Uh, um, that is locked in my account, It kind of. <laughs> depending like yeah i can go sell it on the marketplace or whatever which then people can use irl money to acquire it like it's a lot of gray area we'll call it at this point for diablo immortal however in general no it's going to be really hard to like pinpoint and hold down like yeah this is gambling right this is a form of the gambling that they're talking about um but games like in a t games like there's a lot of games that are coming out right now where i actually just got uh i got i got offered sponsorships by uh a couple of arpg games that are nft games um that are what is it earn to play or play to earn or whatever like those games technically i think will fall under this purview where they will be banned because as you're playing them you unlock nfts which are a scam <laughs> anyways and that you can sell right for IRL money because it's an nft which is again a scam um, so I feel like Twitch starting this is going to really like kind of open the eyes of a lot of people. Now I will sit, stand here and tell you that I am one of the original believers where I understand spending money in Diablo Immortal is acceptable. Um, I have spent money in Immortal. Do I regret it? No, I knew what I was doing. I knew what I was getting into. I knew what the in investment we'll call it will give me. Um, I'm not going to call it an investment because there's not going to be any ROI. Like there's no return on my investment other than my happiness, I guess. I wouldn't even say necessarily that, but like my stake in the game, like unless you're like a six, six and a half, like unless you're way, way, way up there, like the people who are spending 30, 40 K, like you're not, you're not competing in this game as a whale. So even me at 2,500, I'm a dolphin as far as the PVP aspect of it. So I mean, it is what it is at this point. But talking about this in general just brings up more of the whole Twitch is banning this. So what's going to happen with further games? Do we think that games like this are going to get targeted? I, I'm genuinely asking because I want everyone's opinion because it's it was everyone's opinion that, that caused this. Like literally like what you're seeing right here, this was caused because of the general consensus. Like literally a guy scammed everybody right he was addicted uh he scammed his whole twitch community um which keep in mind public service announcement if i ever come on stream i'm like hey i'm dead broke because i did this i need money i need to borrow money don't don't lend money to people like that don't do that i'm just some guy on the internet like don't blindly follow me and trust me like that don't do that please i'm sure a lot of you who are watching this won't but if you're someone who's watching like um god forbid bat, bid, like tim the tap man and those bigger streamers like if they come out and say that don't don't give them money don't do that that's dumb but anyways so the the community raged they, they found it was fraud and within two days of raging this happens so what happens if let's say i don't know asmongold decides to take up another high horse on let's ban diablo immortal because of spending money and Quinn 69 decides to throw away $35,000 phony or, you know, $35,000 in phony money and the New Zealand currency that he has. Like, so does that mean Immortal could be next? Keep that in mind when you're playing these games, guys. Keep that in mind. Um, yeah, sure, this is Twitch. But if you think that there won't be ramifications of this later, like YouTube, whatever the case may be, yeah, there's, there's going to. There always is. Um, this isn't going to be the last you hear of this topic. Uh, that's going to be the point of this video. I'm, I'm going to end it here. I don't want to keep it too long. But um, but yeah, this is an interesting stance on what's going to happen with streaming, with Diablo Immortal, uh, with gaming in general, with the way the community is going. Um, I think this compared with the update coming from Diablo Mortal. I I don't know. There's a lot going on in the background that I'm interested to see how everything plays out. Um, I think this time next year, we're going to see a totally different situation than what we see right now. Um, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Peace.